taste test. Hello, Mother Goose Club. My name is Gianna. Today on Playhouse Challenge, we're going to play a new game called the taste test. Let's meet our contestants, Ethan and Maggie. Hi! We're gonna be blindfolded and eat different types of mystery foods. And then we'll try to guess the mystery foods we just ate. After we taste test a mystery food, we'll give a point to the person who guesses correctly. Ready? Let's begin. The first food is apples. How does that feel in your hand? Smooth, kind of point. Feels like it has a stick on top. Round, and it feels like it might be shiny. How does it smell? Fruity, delicious. What color do you think it is? Green? Red. How does it taste? Sweet and juicy. Crunchy and sweet. What food do you think you just ate? A pear? An apple. Please lift up your blindfold and let's find out who guessed correctly. Maggie, you are correct. It was an apple. That means you get one point and Ethan gets no points. Sorry. Let's try another mystery food. Please put your blindfolds back on. The second mystery food is oranges. Go. How does that food feel in your hand? Bum. Be lumpy and rough, ridgy, and spongy. How does it smell? Fresh, tropical, smells like breakfast. Tangy, citrusy, and zesty. What color do you think it is? I think it's orange. I think it's yellow. And now, have a taste. Here you go. Here you go. What does this food taste like? Sweet, juicy, delicious. Sour, but also sweet. Very unique. What food do you think you just ate? I know, it's an orange. No, it's definitely a lemon. Please put your forks down and lift up your blindfold. The correct food is oranges. Ethan gets one point. Sorry, Maggie, you get no point. It's a tie game. Okay, let's get ready for our last mystery. Food! Please put your blindfolds back on. The last mystery food is peaches. Here you go. Here you go. How does this food feel in your hand? Hairy, fuzzy, kind of tickles your fingers. Squishy, soft, and very fuzzy. How does it smell? Yummy. It kind of smells like my favorite fruit pie. What color do you think it is? Pink? Yellow? Orange? There you go. What does this food taste like? It's too mushy and feels like I'm eating a slug. This is delicious. Quite peachy. What food do you think you just ate? I think I just ate a pink slug. I know I just ate a peach. Okay, please put down your forks and lift up your blindfolds. The correct answer is peaches. 
That means Maggie is our grand prize winner of yes. today's Playhouse Challenge. Yes. Good job, Ethan. Good, Good job, job, Maggie. Thanks. Good job, Maggie. I tasted so many delicious foods today, but my favorite was definitely the peach. My favorite was the orange. And remember to eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables every day. Thanks for playing with us on today's Mother Goose Club Playhouse Challenge. Bye, Bye Mother Goose Club. Dinner. Dinner is ready. Come on in for dinner. Great news, I'm starving. Well, I've got something good for you. Dinner is ready, let's sit down. The veggies are green. The rice is brown. Say please and thank you, and don't slurp. You'll be in trouble if you both. I think this bite is the last one. I'll help you clean, cause I'm all done. Thanks for dinner, it was great. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to have good manners at dinner time. When you sit down nicely, it makes dinner fun for everyone. And then maybe you'll get dessert too. <gasps> Woo! Mm, yummy. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Five fat sausages. Do you hear that, Mother Goose Club? It sounds like something's cooking. Mmm, it's my favorite food, sausages. I know a fun rhyme about sausages. Do you want to hear it? Great! Five fat sausages sizzling in a pan. The grease got hot and one went BAM! Four fat sausages sizzling in a pan. The grease got hot and one went BAM! Three fat sausages sizzling in a pan. The grease got hot and one went BAM! Two fat sausages sizzling in a pan. The grease got hot and one went BAM! One fat sausage sizzling in a pan. The grease got hot and one went BAM! And there were no more sausages left. Yum, that was delicious. Thanks for listening to my rhyme. See you next time. Thanksgiving Day. Hi, Mother Goose Club, and happy Thanksgiving. We're about to have a big Thanksgiving dinner, but first, we're going to share what we're most thankful for. I'm thankful for my friends. Aww. Aww. I'm thankful for basketball. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thankful for my family. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm thankful for macaroni and cheese. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, everybody. Let's go sit down. Yeah. yeah. We all sit down and show we're glad. Each brother, sister, mom, and dad. We give our thanks for fruits and meats, for vegetables and special treats. Yum! Oh, this looks so good! We thank the world for nature's joys, for sunny skies and friends and toys. We all sit down, our thanks to say, and celebrate Thanksgiving Day. Oh, can you pass that? Yeah. Anyone's <laughs> born? Oh, I'd like to Oh. Everybody shout hooray! Let's make every day Thanksgiving Day. Friends and family, school and fun. Let's all give thanks now, everyone. Thanks! Oh, that was great. It smells so good. Mm. I'm starving. Let's eat. Yeah. Try sharing what you're most thankful for. Happy, Happy holidays! Pizza baking craft. Oh, hi, 
everybody. I am Janet and today we are in the Mother Goose Club Playhouse Kitchen and I am joined by my friends Anna Grace. Hello. And my friend Lucas. Hi. Today we are making pizza. We made our dough and now it is time to roll out our crust. Now, what we want to do is we're going to put a little bit of flour on our rolling pin. That way the dough won't stick to it so much. Let's get to rolling here. Here is a trivia question. Does anybody know who invented pizza? Gooey Lou. Gooey Louie, I love that name. I don't think he has anything to do with pizza. Uh, do you have a guess? I have no idea. His name was Rafael Esposita, June 11th, 1889, and he was making a pizza for Queen Margarita of Savoy. And so on it, he put tomato sauce, basil, which is green, and mozzarella cheese. So you have red, green, and white, which were the colors of Italy. Uh, we will give uh, Rafael Esposito some credit today for making pizza. All right, so I think that I'm good. But it's like I... Oh, I don't want it! <laughs> you guys give it a try. That's kind of fun. It's kind of like action, like a Frisbee. Yeah. Wow, that's good stuff. Oh yeah, one last twirl. So we have made our pizza crust. They're all looking very, very delicious. Now, what do you suppose is the first thing we need to do? We need to put pizza sauce on. All right, so with that said, everybody grab a spoon and pizza sauce away. All right, so once you're fine with how much sauce you have on there, all right, you guys are good with that? All right. Now we're going to talk about the ingredients we can put on top of our pizza. Now, you mentioned put that you like what on your pizza? Pepperoni and cheese. All right. So are you going to put your cheese on first or your pepperoni? Cheese. All right. So away you go. Now, what, are you, what would you like to put first on your pizza? You know, I think I'm going to do something really funky. I'm going to put my cheese on last. Ah, oh, very, very creative cool. here. All right, so what would you like to go with first? Probably bacon. <laughs> All right, so she's going to put a bit of bacon. Now, I am going to go uh, the route of Chef Lucas over here, put a little cheese. Have you guys ever had avocado on a pizza? Is Not that a pizza. what you make guacamole out of? It is what you make guacamole out of, but I love avocado, so I'm going to put a little avocado here. So you're going to go for a little pepper there, a little orange bell pepper. I think that's a good idea. Now, where are you going to go from here? Um, sausage. All right. Oh my goodness, all of this smells so good. I just want to like eat it. Ah, it won't be long now. And uh, so I've got my peppers, I've got my avocado. I might go with a little more cheese. I might, oh, you know what, I forgot. That looks really yummy. And then I'm going to put some black olives on there just for good measure. There we go. All right, so now it is time to put the pizzas in the oven. Can you say, la pizza? La, la pizza. pizza. In the oven. In the oven. <laughs> <laughs> you always want to be careful with the oven and have some assistance with that. And now we will set our timer. All right, and we wait. Oh, goodness. This is Lucas's pizza. We're going to put that right there. This is Anna Grace's pizza. And then this is my pizza. <laughs> Do these so not look amazing? And they smell fantastic, don't oh, they? Yes. Uh, are you proud of your creation? I think it's going to be really good. All right. And you're excited to try it yours? So good. I say it's time to cut into these pizzas and let's have a bite. I think the word for the day is bon appetit. Everybody try a bite of your pizza. All right. <laughs> That's pretty good, guys. How about yours? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's a little hot. So, no, it's a little hot. All right. So we have a few <laughs> final words for you. <gasps> bon appetit. <laughs> we'll see you next time, Mother Goose. See you next time. Bye, <laughs> Are you willing to try some avocado there for me? I'll we'll try it. All right, come on, Lucas. Would you say that an avocado is a vegetable or a fruit? A um, fruit? It is a fruit. It's actually a single seeded berry. Okay, so how about a little bite of onion? Wow, onion is very delicious. <gasps> oh, it's I hot. spicy. Oh, oh it's I hot to you. Oh. A little bit of an anchovy here. This is a fish cured in uh, salt and oil. Anybody brave enough to try this with me? Oh, really? 
really salty, really fishy. Super fishy. <laughs> Kinda tastes like the aquarium smells. <laughs> Mother Goose Club Playhouse!